Glitch Energy, code squid, 20% off, link in the description. They're a sponsor of the channel. I don't talk about them enough on the YouTube channel or wherever, but again, they are a sponsor of the channel. So check it out if you're looking for good, clean energy or any other things, wherever that they have. There's always a link in the description to their website. And again, code squid on anything saves you 20% off. So definitely check them out. But today we're going to be talking about Seven Rhymes and their four channel mini wireless lavalier system that they send out. I'm going to go over the pros and cons and my thoughts on the product. And we're going to do some sound testing in here and get some ambient noise and see how it sounds and go outside or wherever and see how it sounds. I'm not going to be traveling too far or anything like that, just right outside because my car is going through some maintenance right now with some suspension things needing to be done as well as new tires and all that stuff. So again, I'm not trying to travel too much with the car. But with that being said, I do want to talk about briefly what are some things and options out there for content creators and why somebody would need a system like this, let alone a wireless lavalier system in the first place. So you do have some options out there that are good for talking head videos, not necessarily for streaming, depending on what type of streaming you're doing. But if you're sitting here and doing videos like this or you're live streaming videos or a setup like this or wherever, there are some options out there. And unboxing this wherever, I did this live from this setup or wherever on my kit channel there's a link in the description to it um, so if you want to watch some unboxings and stuff like that and get a first hand look my first impressions on unboxing stuff and sometimes I do test stuff um, so you can check it all there again link in the description if you want to get that live experience now Comica does have their own version of what seven rhymes sent out which is a four you know obviously four little transmitter and receiver combo or wherever but on their devices they do still have that digital screen but you get the upcharge or wherever of having those niceties of having the digital screen to see the information as well as still having the wireless uh little lavalier input or wherever to plug into those transmitters or wherever to go to the receiver and the receiver has a big screen enough or wherever to see the digital readouts of all the transmitters and stuff so you do have some pros and cons there as far as the difference between what seven rhymes have sent out now seven rhymes have sent this out and there's no digital screen there's only light indicators which you can find out what they do in the actual manual i'm not going to go over the manual because we'll be here for a very long time but i'll try to find a digital version of this if i can i'll have it linked in the description again don't hold me to that because i don't know if there is one out there but again i'll try to put it in the description but the light indicators are nice to have here or whatever as far as like battery life i think they do that and they let you know if the mic if the mic's muted or whatever is going on as far as battery life like i said um but again no digital you know screen or anything like that you do get what you need bare bones as far as the headphone jack the out to wherever that's going to connect to you know your 3.5 millimeter jack cables and a usb now you can hook this stuff stuff up to you know your pc your smartphone if you have the little dongle if you need or wherever because it's usb type c um it's it's really lightweight i say the build quality feels good or wherever it makes you feel like it's budget or whatever because how lightweight it is but it still feels like you know it, an, a premium experience i would say with it you have you know a power and as well as switching from mono to stereo sound right there you have a way to sync this up with you know your transmitters to the receiver and again, we talked about these ports here. You have magnetic uh, contact points or whatever to connect to the charging case. And you have this little clip or whatever to put on your hot shoe or coat shoe of your camera or wherever, or maybe attach it to, you know, uh, a, a cable or something like that. So it can sit there attached to your camera, PC, phone, whatever you need to attach it to. You do get little magnets or whatever to attach the lapel mic or whatever to your clothing if that's the way you want to do. Or you can just use the clip or wherever. The clip doesn't look like you can actually remove it or wherever without breaking it. So you're going to have to leave the clip or wherever attached to the actual module itself. Right here, you get a way to adjust the volume. Again, it's not two separate buttons or whatever. It's just one button. You get the power on and the mute of the microphone on this side. At the top, you get the capsule of the microphone on this side which i think right here could have been put a lapel mic uh you know little jack but there's none here on this device so that's kind of a con already and versus the, the comica version but again the comica version is going to cost you a more pretty penny than this um but this is under 200 so you know there's going to be some drawbacks like i said but 
even though you don't have that, you do have a digital denoise. And typically people don't like the digital denoise. Have a option right, right here, as well as to you know pair it to the actual receiver from the transmitters. And then at the bottom, you have the USB type C to hook this up to whatever device you need to hook it up to. And on the back, you have the contact pins again for the actual charging case. The charging case feels pretty good. They have magnets to keep, you know, at the top or wherever to keep the thing closed i shook it on live stream it doesn't feel like the case is going to open or anything like that while traveling in the travel bag or anything like that you have light indicators you have a way to sync it up and check the battery life of the module it charges by usb type c you have a reset button in the back if that's what you need to do again you have all the transmitters right here and the receiver port and then it has nice little feet or wherever on the bottom so it you know doesn't slip or anything like that and overall the build quality of the case wherever feels pretty good you have you know the four little dead cats or wherever or the wind muffs you need to clip it on the top of the module it doesn't feel like once you put it on there correctly it's going to fall off or anything like that it does make it a little bit more noticeable obviously if you're going to clip it to your clothes but you know what i'm saying we'll see the effectiveness i'm not sure how the wind is outside today but we'll We'll see if it does anything as far as muffling the sound. The bag itself feels pretty good, however, well built and everything. The only thing about it is that the logo is printed after the bag was made. So I do imagine that this is going to rub off over time, wherever as far as wear and tear goes. But again, it's it's not the important part. It's the important part of the bag, you know, doing what it needs to do. If there's enough space and everything in it and it holds everything, I would say fairly nice in there. What you get as well is a TRS cable and you get a TRRS cable. So there's no labeling on the actual things or wherever you have to look into a booklet to see what which cable hooks up to what device. Whereas typically on the Comica devices, even the Adcaster C2 device, the Lavalier system device, as well as their um, VM30, they all come with these little things attached to the cables to tell you you know is this the camera and you know cell phone cable and it even says on the back or wherever in letters so you have pictures and letters they really dumb it down to tell you what this cable is used for where you don't get that on this and i think that's a nice inclusion if they could do that for the cables moving forward or at least printing them into the face or wherever of it or wherever i've seen some companies do that but again you can find that information in the manual but typically unfortunately nowadays people don't read manuals um but again this is one of those devices that i would highly recommend reading the manual the last thing that feels cheap and kind of a con or wherever is this usb type c cable to c cable to a adapter wherever it feels really cheap i'm just going to be honest but again you can get one of these cables or wherever if you need it longer or the same type of cable that has a little bit more durability if you need to in the future it's not the heads of the cables it's the actually the cable itself it just feels really cheap in my personal opinion so what they did here to be cost effective or wherever is cheap out on you know this cable and again not having the actual plug to plug up a lavalier microphone and as well as not having a digital screen so that's how they were able in my personal opinion to keep it under 200 dollars. and like i said with the comica version or wherever it has a digital screen it has the you know the jack or wherever for the wireless lavalier system or wherever to have the lapel mic on it so you can see the differences right there between you know something like this which is again at 100 like 150 something dollars whereas the comica one is way more expensive so it just depends on what you need so there are some pros here as far as being able to hook up multiple people and you can just quickly, you know, take it out the little box, wherever the charging box and clip them onto the people wherever they do a quick interview. You unclip them, put them back in a charging box. I'll put the battery life or wherever expected on the screen and stuff like that. Uh, so you can see a rough estimate of, you know, all this charging capabilities and everything like that. Unfortunately, I don't have any friends so and my wife is in exposed uh dealing with my son and everything so i'm not going to be able to obviously hook up multiple people to test that but we are going to test how it sounds in the ambient room with no eq and then if need be i'll try to do a sample or wherever of eq of me talking into the microphone and then we'll go outside 
and test a wherever in a vlogging scenario or maybe the camera on a tripod and see. I'm not gonna do any kind of insane distance testing because that's not realistic, especially for a four microphone hookup. You're not gonna be that far away. And on top of that, I don't really have a zoom lens. I just have prime lenses. And um, so I'm not gonna be able to zoom in or wherever to get me in a shot to respectively. So again, we're gonna be looking at it from objectively a realistic use case scenario of this wireless lavalier system. And then I'll give my closing thoughts about the whole system as a whole after I listen to everything. So what you're listening to right now is the Seven Rhymes Mini 4-channel wireless lavalier system. It is in stereo mode and it's hooked up to my camera. The Sony ZV-1 as far as the audio input is set to 3 and on the wireless lavalier system I just left it to whatever it's set to straight out the box. So I'm not really sure um, because there's no digital you know interface or wherever on the actual module itself i'm not sure what the gain is set to but again i just left it to where it was or wherever when you get it straight out of the box so this is the way it sounds i have my pc going over here wherever with the fans on uh, a normal you know fan curve i have a fan over here that's on level one or wherever as supplying just random ambient noise in the room and i'll be quiet so you can hear the noise floor And again, this is just going to be, you know, I would say typically just ambient noise over with the fan. And now I will go ahead and put on the little wind muff or wherever to see if this changes anything. All right, so let me know what you guys think or wherever I have the wind muff plugged up or wherever to the actual um, module itself. I will go ahead and let you know if you put the actual the windscreen or wherever protective on the actual module itself, it makes it a little bit hard to clip onto your clothes. So just keep that in mind. That's something I just noticed trying to hook it up. But let me know what you guys think of this. You know, what does it do to the sound of my voice? Does it, you know, relieve some of the air that's being circulated in the room, the ambient noise and everything? And again, no plugins, no VSTs or wherever. It's just being transmitted straight from the cam link or wherever into Wavelink, no post-processing or anything like that. This is just raw audio. This is the way it sounds. So what you're listening to right now is the Seven Rhymes mini four channel wireless lavalier system it is in stereo mode and it's hooked up to my camera the sony zv1 as far as the audio input is set to three and on the wireless lavalier system i just left it to whatever it's set to straight out the box so i'm not really sure um because there's no digital you know interface or wherever on the actual module itself i'm not sure what the gain is set to but again i just left it to where it was or wherever when you get it straight out the box so this is the way it sounds. I have my PC going over here, wherever with the fans on uh, a normal you know, fan curve. I have a fan over here that's on level one or wherever as supplying just random ambient noise in the room. And I'll be quiet so you can hear the noise floor. All right, so let me know what you guys think or wherever I have the wind muff plugged up or wherever to the actual um, module itself, I will go ahead and let you know if you put the actual the windscreen or wherever protective on the actual module itself, it makes it a little bit hard to clip onto your clothes. So just keep that in mind. That's something I just noticed trying to hook it up. But let me know what you guys think of this. You know, what does it do to the sound of my voice? Does it, you know, relieve some of the air that's being circulated in the room, the ambient noise and everything. And again, no plugins, no VSTs or wherever. It's just being transmitted straight from the cam link or wherever into Wavelink, no post-processing or anything like that. This is just raw audio. This is the way it sounds. All right, so I'm gonna use it in a handheld uh, scenario. And what I'm gonna do is just talk directly into the tops of the capsule or wherever. This is something that typically people like to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna use it in a handheld uh, scenario. And what I'm gonna do is just talk directly into the tops of the capsule or wherever. This is something that typically people like to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and record this little section or wherever, do some post-processing wherever to the audio. So let me know what you guys think of how this sounds or wherever. I'm gonna go ahead and record this little section or wherever, do some post-processing wherever to the audio. So let me know what you guys think of how this sounds or wherever. And let's go outside and, you know, do the testing out there. And let's go outside and, you know, 
do the testing out there. So we're outside, I'm testing the Seven Rhymes uh, wireless lavalier system. I uh, have it clipped up to my hat or wherever so I can move my head around or wherever so you won't hear the clothes ruffling or anything. But the birds are chirping. It's super hot outside. I think it's like 90 something degrees. We're outside. I'm testing the Seven Rhymes uh, wireless lavalier system. I uh, have it clipped up to my hat or wherever so I can move my head around or wherever so you won't hear the clothes ruffling or anything. But the birds are chirping. It's super hot outside. I think it's like 90 something degrees. But, you know, some birds are chirping over there. Some birds have been chirping behind me a little bit. The sun's coming out. Um, I don't live on a busy street or anything like that, but this is what you can see. This is what it sounds like. Again, um, the audio wherever for the camera is set to three plus three dB or wherever. Um, the microphone, I haven't adjust anything on it. Again, it's just, it's just straight out the box, which you can expect. You know, some birds are chirping over there. Some birds have been chirping behind me a little bit. The sun's coming out. Um, I don't live on a busy street or anything like that, but this is what you can see. This is what it sounds like. Again, um, the audio wherever for the camera is set to three plus three dB or wherever. Um, the microphone, I haven't adjust anything on it. Again, it's just, it's just straight out the box, which you can expect. And again, this is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like wherever I would say in an outside scenario, like I said, with birds chirping, some dogs were barking or wherever in the background, you know, on the other side of the street or wherever. So I don't know if it can pick up everything, but this is what it sounds like. Now I'm hearing a car drive by on a, like a highway or wherever that's kind of further away, but I can still hear it. It also sounds like somebody is trying to do some, maybe some work or something like that on their yard. Um, so just let me know again, what you guys think. Now I'm hearing a car drive by on a, like a, a highway or wherever that's kind of further away, but I can still hear it. It also sounds like somebody is trying to do some, maybe some work or something like that on their yard. Um, so just let me know again, what you guys think. Yeah, somebody's using like a saw or something. So let me know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, somebody's using like a saw or something. So let me know if you guys can hear that. Let me know what you think of the EQ version of this microphone. All right, so we're on the next day and I'm testing the microphone inside again, but this time in the same scenario with the fan and everything set up, I'm going to try to uh, see if I can add a little bit more EQ to my voice instead of just removing wind noise and background noise removal and, and echo and everything to see if I can really recommend this inside because I've noticed that outside is where I would recommend using this little uh, lavalier system, especially if you're gonna have four people and you're not gonna have the ability to put a lapel mic on or anything like that. I think that this microphone system is more usable outside, let's say on a vacation, family trip, you know, or spending time with some friends or wherever and you're vlogging and you're not taking your content creation a little bit too seriously. You're just sharing your memories and, and what you do and stuff like that on the internet okay so now we're on the comica boom xd it is a wireless lavalier system that i have reviewed i'll leave a link to it down in the description but i wanted to go ahead and test the audio of this capsule going straight into the receiver going straight into the camera the camera settings are not changed but i did have to boost the gain on the actual receiver just a little bit to see my levels go up or wherever to make sure that you know i'm capturing i would say good enough sound before i have to even boost it in post or something like that so i'll let you guys know on the screen if i did anything else other than that whereas the seven rhymes or wherever i just left it straight out the box you know and had a three db boost in uh, gain aware for inside the camera i would say the echo removal on the footage even for outside i could still hear birds chirping i could still hear other things so i was wondering you know if a module that was meant to actually have a lapel mic and not a module that was meant to, you know, not have one in the module wherever of the top of the microphone or wherever, is this one going to be as sensitive as this one? Or is it going to be a little bit different and more designed for indoor, indoor speaking or wherever and having a lapel mic or wherever option as well. Which option is gonna be more, I would say, what makes more sense to you? Even though the Comica version of what the Seven Rhymes have is more expensive and this is more affordable, what do you really need? The wireless module hooked up to the lavalier microphone that comes inside the package, and this is the way it sounds. I've added some EQs, and they're just blanket EQs or whatever for everything or whatever, so you can get a general sense of how it sounds having a proper lavalier system and having a lavalier microphone and everything. So you can see what I'm talking about as far as using something like this indoors. This is not perfectly EQ to my voice or whatever. There's a little bit more adjustments I would do for this lavalier system. System. 
but I wanted to keep it the same so it would be all, you know, all different versions or whatever could, you know, show off what is capable. And again, for the seven rhymes, you could probably dial it in a little bit more, but because of what this device is, do think it has its own place on the market. This is just gonna be for the casual person, casual content creator, or just not even a content creator, just somebody who likes to capture stuff or wherever with a camera, capture some audio or wherever. And like I said, they have multiple friends, multiple family members in on it or wherever. This is gonna do you good, I think, honestly. Um, but again, if you wanna step it up a little bit more, then go with the comical one. That's just my personal opinion. All right, to wrap up this video, because it's already long enough, who do I think the Seven Rhymes IRA DW40s are for? I think these are for people who are out there looking to capture the natural audio of them being outside in nature, like maybe they're doing some uh, vlogs while they're exercising or going on a walk or you know traveling with friends, family or wherever on a vacation or just venturing out or something like that. And they have a point and shoot camera, maybe like the Sony ZV-1 or just like, I don't know, maybe their cell phone or something like that. This is going to be a very compelling option, especially coming in around 160 bucks. Again, if you're looking for a more professional, dedicated wireless lavalier system, but you need those four mics, I would recommend the Comica one because at least you can get your own separate lavalier system or wherever as far as the mics go, because I don't think it comes with its own lapel mics. At least I haven't seen that, but it still has the option to plug a lapel mic in. And with that option, you can go with the likes of the company of Rode, um, DJI, Sure, whatever it may be. And you could probably still, depending on how many lavalier, um, you know, lapel mics you get, you could probably still keep it under $400. If not, depending on the company you go with, maybe under $300 for that setup. And that's going to vastly be out getting four different microphones, XLR cables, uh, microphone boom arms, and then the audio interface or whatever to actually handle all those inputs and actually have good preamps and be really good that's gonna start like start piling up in cost. Whereas again, if you go with the Comica one, you're gonna be good to go. And you're gonna be able to, you know, obviously not have internal recording, neither the Seven Rhymes or the Comica version or whatever are 32-bit float, so there's some drawbacks there. But, and they don't have internal recording, neither one of them, but you can still get what you need to get done or wherever depending on the use case scenario and that's why there will be affiliate links to both systems down below as well as the review for the boom xd pros uh definitely check that out but overall seven rhymes i'm very very um surprised on how well this did with just having you know the echo removal and the actual um background noise removal inside and outside I think if I had a little bit more time to dial in the EQs or whatever for vocals, I think I could have got this sounding really good. The drawback is, is that if I hooked up anybody else, those EQs wouldn't be really usable because I have a deeper voice than typically people do out just in the world. So again, you can see the drawbacks there, but you know, you can still do a little bit of a presence boost and that's it and do background noise removal wherever. I like to fiddle with the audio a little bit more than that, but for people who don't, 160 bucks you can't, you can't really beat it and that's why i reckon still recommend it and they actually have you know audio mixers or wherever so if seven rhymes want me to review that i'd be happy to because they have one in white and it looks awesome and they actually have a two module one i think a version of this one that i will also leave down in the description so you can take a look at because um, obviously i don't have it in hand i just have the four one um and both you know, all their stuff pretty much comes in this color or they come in the white color. And I'm just a fan of white accessories and white equipment. So hopefully in the future, I can get the white version of this if Seven Rhymes want to do that. And maybe in a future video, I can give away this one or wherever uh, to somebody out there. I don't know if they want to send out the white one. But with that being said, again, affiliate links to everything down in the description and uh, check out the product review playlist that should be popping on screen somewhere right about now. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.